offering criticism in a timely, respectful manner. Part 1. Discerning when and how to criticize someone remains a skill few of us have managed to master. Let's face it, we haven't even grasped the more basic issue of who we should and can criticize. We seem to think it's wide open. Anyone who stumbles into our crosshairs, acting in a manner we wouldn't, is subject to the critical remarks bubbling up within us. Unless we catch ourselves, our words will spew forth. Wonderful. As if we need another karmic enmity. So whom do we criticize? Those we are responsible for. Like our children or subordinates at work. Those we have a good affinity with and who are open to our suggestions, like some family members, friends, and close co-workers. Those we love and respect, who love and respect us. If there is a good affinity and we feel someone will welcome our opinions, we offer them. For those who have a lesser or no affinity with us, we guide by setting examples and keep our opinions to ourselves. Amitavah.